So in this video, I'm going to be showcasing these two crossing bells. Uh, one is a Griswold slash railroad accessories bell, also known uh, as Reiko. And the one on the right is a Western Cullen Hayes bell. Um, like a lot of them, there's no model number on the door. So, um, this bell was made just after they finished stamping federal signals on these bells. So, um, it's an older WC Hayes. Um, this bell here is the first bell I ever owned. And that was, goodness gracious, 2006 or seven that I got that. And I do not have the bolt that holds the back door shut. So I'm trying to look, trying to locate that. Um, let's move this over and into the center where you can see the the back of the bell and as you can see it also says Griswold on it now that kind of blew it out like right here Griswold Signal Corporation Minneapolis Minnesota so I thought that was pretty cool that it's Reiko and also uh, Griswold. So let's open it up. And it's got a red magnet. And as you can see here, I kind of lost that there. It has a what is now Safe Tran emblem so i thought that was pretty cool um the bell itself has had a couple of repairs done um i'm not sure if you can see this brass piece here but this wore out to a point where the bell wouldn't even hardly ring at all so um oh, there goes my neighbor um so that's been replaced um came off of a parts bell um, and so let's ring it. Sounds very good. Um, the the door label is actually intact, which is awesome. Shows where to oil it, which is pretty cool. Um, wiring schematic, wiring, wiring diagram. General maintenance, three to six months. How many uh, maintenance guys do you think do that nowadays? Some of these bells will go 20 and 30 and 40 years without being serviced. So think about that kind of quality and imagine how many crossing bells would still be in service if railroads just did this very minor maintenance they'd actually save a lot of money um i think that in today's world they could just use like three in one oil just literally go psh, 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 done and be good for a year or two at least if this is on a main line maybe the hammer would wear out or you'd have to twist the gong because it'd get a pit in it but I think this is a uh, Reiko Bell, 
and we'll put it to the side here. Making sure not to crack my window. And we'll move on to the WC Hayes Bell. It has, um, I let my friend borrow the gong that was on it. And um, what is on here now is a safe tran gong. Um, it sounds pretty nice. We'll turn it to the side. To the back. Now this crossing bell came from a friend of mine in Akron, Ohio. This bell was on BD Tower, Bravo Delta Ch uh, Tower in uh, Akron, Ohio. Um, open it up here. And we can see it's in very good shape, except for some uh, pitting here from the road salt. And let's ring it. It's so wonderfully resonant. And, um, it sounds great. Let's turn it around. Let's turn it around. And let's ring it from the side. Find my striker here. So resonant. I love that. Oh, I'll ring it again. Awesome. Well, I do appreciate you guys watching and, um, I guess that you guys saw my video from last time of my uh, Western Rail uh, Rail Western Railroad Supply slash uh, gosh I can't even remember the name of it now um, the the rare one <laughs> but you guys get the gist thanks for watching and um, see you out there soon um, more crossing content to come. Um, I've been kind of slacking in that department, so uh, we're going to start crossing tours very soon. So, until then, cheers!